Hi everybody from a beautiful day in Skyrim. Today I'm looking at Stormwatch Castle. It's the latest mod from Skyrim Laz and it is truly beautiful. I'll show you where we are. You can see right behind there's Dragon's Reach and we are here. And this is just, wow, 35,000 gold. Bargain. Let's get down and have a look. All right, so yeah, 35,000 gold, you can buy it. Uh, at the for sale board which you'll find in here enter by way of the pull chain and wow these gardens i wish my front garden looked like this in real life honestly it is truly truly spectacular there's even a beehive and like this almost secret tunnel oh my god i love this under your home through to a little courtyard with this wonderful fountain and places to sit. Wow, thank you. Yes, please, I'll take it. So there's one door there. I'll show you where they all go. Oh, by the way, this dude, because somebody always asks, he comes from Melandriel, uh, which is another beautiful house mod. And you'll find him in the cave in that one. Oh, there's also a door here and then the main front door up here round the corner there's a chair that you can sit on and just soak up life love and the universe look at that view wow oh skyrim honestly when you come here from fallout 4 this is like a balm to the eyes really dude how rude! Get out of the way! In he goes already indoors and he has made himself well at home, let me tell you. Last time I came in here he was actually using the pool, which is <laughs> cheeky but okay. Alright, so as you come in this entrance you can see there's another door straight ahead of us. There is a bar very nice too. I'll try and stick to one floor at a time because uh, I may get lost. There's a couple of followers beds around here uh, and also there are six kids beds in here so if you do adopt then you are well covered uh, but you can also change those to be a followers room as well if you prefer and I don't adopt so for me that is perfect although Actually, I don't really have many followers either. It's usually just me and Inigo and Bunny. Beautiful dining table. The only mod I can think of that I have that might affect the look of this is the windows, which are rustic windows I have. Gorgeous kitchen area though. Look how neat and tidy that is. That, that layout appeals to my OCD heart. <laughs> Everything's beautifully organised. The butter churn, cooking pot and oven. And sweet rolls and dumplings. It's all good. And then a more modest little area here. So you might take tea in the afternoon in here rather than at the big table. Look how beautiful. Oh my god. I love it. So very pretty and nicely done you know as are all his mods let's be honest i mean i know we all have our favorite mod authors uh, and this is one of mine all right let's look at the upstairs at the kids loft so like i said there's room for six up here pretty splendid isn't it look at their little tiny beds and they've all got their own chest looks like there's been a pillow fight Plenty of storage. Yeah, it's a cute room. Oh, there is so much green in this castle, though. I am blinking loving that. Story time around the fire. Adorable. I've actually forgotten where I found the buttons to change that room to followers, but you can do if you want to. Now, this will take you out into a little... Terrace, a couple more tables and chairs. You can look down on the fountain. Oh, 
wow, look at that. Do you know, I didn't even notice it when I was down there. But that lovely canopy there. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, so I think we're done for this floor. And then if you go up this staircase, it'll take you up to your room. There's another terrace here. Beautiful, much smaller this time, much more intimate. Oh, what a design. I would love for someone to build me a house just like this. Doesn't feel massively big, you know? It's kind of moderate-sized castle, as castles go. Uh, so yeah, there's your home teleport spell and the bedroom. So lovely. And you have your own private balcony. And wow, the views from here. This made me smile to myself because look, there's a little chair there. And then there's another one around the other side. So, you know, if you, you're not talking to your spouse that day. <laughs> it made me smile. Anyway, that's where my mind goes. Okay, so this is the tower, obviously. And uh, yeah, oh. Gorgeous. All right. So, downstairs. Wow, there's so much going on downstairs. Let's see if I can find my way back there again. Yeah. <laughs> Just checking. Uh, we can go into the undercroft here, but look at the pool room. Oh, hey, Inigo, you're still in there? Dude, <laughs> put some clothes on. Isn't this beautiful? Oh, I love this. Oh, good boy. It's almost like he heard me. So there are four follower rooms here too. So that, in addition to the two upstairs, you can have six followers and six kids. And these are all really small and lovely. Nicely done. See what I mean about how much he's enjoying himself? He is blooming loving it. And I think this takes us back out to the front garden. Oh no. <laughs> oh, my sense of direction is appalling. But I guess that's not news to anybody, is it? Really? Okay, so yeah, the pool level is lovely. And this is the undercroft. We'll go in there in a second. But even further down, you've got your armory and your library. So library and armory and you can get from one to the other so nice red theme love the gold carpets and so much space i mean this isn't new for skyrim Laz. this is very much in keeping with what he does and it is truly lovely i mean wow so much space for so many things. So if you're a collector, you could pretty much pick up any of his homes and find room for anything you wanted, you know? Wow. And again, tons of storage. The library to me is just exquisite. This is so beautiful. Look at that. And I really like these leather lined bookshelves. Stunning. As you can see, there's another level which we can get up to. And even a dining area. You know, you could sit here, have a drink, have something to eat, carry out your studies. And if you're too tired to go through your low door to go up to the tower to bed. And it comes with a bed as well. And a printing press. And all these books that need to be sorted. Oh my god, I love this. Apart from just the peaceful, restful feeling in here. And the colours, you know. 
Wow. Okay, let's have a look at the next level up. What about the brickwork? What do you think? This stonework is lovely, isn't it? It's nice and warm. Oh, just living for this. <laughs> and this section contains all of your special items, so Elder Scrolls, Mythic Dawn commentaries, etc. Black books. Wow. Beautiful. Okay, so we'll head up to the Undercroft. And this might be my favourite part of the whole home. So you, so you can see you've got all your shrines there. Here are the buttons. So you can enable or disable auto undress and change the follower or kids room. So let's do that. Rooms for kids, okay. Rooms for followers, okay. And we'll have a quick look at the end uh, just to see, you know, in the loft, to see what's happened. So a great big barrel of something brewing. And your alchemy and enchanting in here. Again, I mean, I know I don't need to keep saying it, but loads of storage. And what a pretty, pretty place. And this room. Mwah, chef's, chef's kiss. Look at it. All these lovely soils. Beautiful lighting. Oh, that is lovely. I am so appreciative of this, I can tell you. And then your forge area. Also really nicely done. Uh, and there's even a vent above your smelter. Ooh, flickery light. Undoubtedly my fault. Uh, wood chopping block and all of the, everything you could want. Okay, now we're in the front garden. Just so you can see how all these doors connect. Look at the lanterns in this tree. Wow, I bet this looks beautiful at night. Okay, so... You know I always ask you this, but what do you think? <laughs> I love it. Okay, let's find our way back to the loft. And have a look at that. Sorry, I was a bit slow there because I was thinking, where am I? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's got it. Here we go. Oh, nice. Look at that. The beds are bigger and they're red. And the children's story time is gone. Oh, no, it hasn't, actually. <laughs> they're still there. Okay, well, maybe they weren't just for kids. This is really lovely. Okay, so really, it's just the beds, isn't it, that, that have changed? All right, well, I think that covers just about everything. Ah, phew, what's your favourite bit? I honestly, well, I'm just thrilled to see it, actually. I really am. It's beautiful and so grateful that mods of this quality and the others that we've seen lately are still being made for us. I mean, wow, thank you very much. All right, I'll leave it here, called at the end of this wee video. Say thank you, as always, for watching, and I will see you soon for the next one. Take care and stay safe, everybody.